Hi guys, I'm Nicole Herrick and I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up a shade sail in your backyard. I'm going to be drilling into a brick wall on my house, a timber fence and a colorbon fence. And I'll show you some of the things that I use to be able to connect everything up. Sometimes it might be a bit different for the situation that you need and your shade sale might come with a few different things, um, but mine didn't come with anything. So here are some of the things that I used and you might need as well. Okay, so here is what I've got. This is the square shade sail by Marquee and it's the pre 26 by 3.6. This was $28 and it includes uh, some D rings. So I bought these attachments. So these are turn buckles and these are what I'm going to use to tighten everything and hook everything together. I got some Dyna bolts with the hook to go into my brick wall as one of my corners is going to go into a brick wall. I got some galvanized eye bolts um, to go into my timber fence and also into my metal fence. I got some split links that are galvanized as well and some rope wire grips and some rope wire. So I've made sure to get everything um, galvanized where possible um, because it's going to be outdoors. So you don't want to get zinc plated because zinc plated is quite um, soft and as soon as it gets a scratch on it, it will start corroding from the inside out. So get galvanized or stainless steel. All right, let's see how to put this up. So the first thing we need to do is open out the shade sail and just position it roughly where you want it to go. For a timber fence, you'll just need to drill a hole the exact same size as the eye bolt that you're using. The eye bolts come with a nut and washer. Now, if you've got neighbors on the other side, I definitely recommend countersinking a hole on the other side that your nut can sit down into, and then you can conceal that with some wood filler, just so it's not sticking out in your neighbor's property. Next, I put the turnbuckle on. Now, on one end of this turnbuckle, I've got a hook. On the other end, I've got an eyelet. I wasn't able to get hook and hook, but if you can get hook and hook, get that because then you won't need to use this split link. Now, if you want to extend this out a little bit further, then you're gonna need some rope. So what I've got is some three mil wire rope, and then I have these galvanized wire rope grips, three millimeter rope. And what we do is you cut off the length that you need and then add enough that you can do a loop. Now I'm gonna be putting these into my eyelets. One end is gonna go into the eyelet here so i'm going to pop i'm going to pop one of these on first so go through and then i'm going to go through the eyelet and then i'm going to create a loop and push it through okay and then now we just need to tighten these up and then that will give us a really good strong loop hitch Ideally, a nice small spanner that fits these would be much easier, but I don't have any spanners, just adjustable wrenches. On the other end of my wire, I just created a plain loop, and then I'm going to use my split ring to attach that loop to the D ring on the corner of my shade sail. Once I've got one corner where I want it, I'm just going to do the next corner to one side. Just pop that in. Again, it's a timber fence, really simple for this one. And then I'm gonna move on to the third attachment, which is going to be into my metal fence. Now, I managed to not actually film how I did the metal fence, but basically took the cap off one of the posts on my metal fence, and then I could put my hole in, and then I had access to be able to hold that nut and screw it into that nut. And now I've got one eyelet through over here. I've got a turn buckle on the end of my wire rope. I'm going to put that one on there. And then let's see if we can get the corner up as we need. Beautiful. So it's still slack, but that's what the turn buckles are for. Now we need to determine where our fourth corner is going. You also need to remember to have two sides that are higher than the other two sides so that water can run off easily. Okay, so now I'm going to install a Dynabolt Plus. So this is just a Dynabolt with a hook. Um, and this one is for concrete slash brick masonry. So perfect, uh, just say internal use. So we're just gonna ignore that. But basically we drill a hole for the Dynabolt into the brick. 
we then hammer this in to that hole and then we turn this and it will expand then this will anchor this into the brickwork that's the plan anyway never done this before as usual so we need an eight millimeter masonry bit so this is what masonry bits look like they have a little head like this like a hammerhead shark and you're going to need an electric hammer drill for this one drilling into brick is quite hard so i think if you've only got like a general um sort of diy hammer drill that's battery operated if you don't have a good one you might struggle to actually be able to drill into brick uh so borrow a electric hammer drill just to get it done if you don't already have one <laughs> okay make sure your hammer drill is on hammer so this is on drill we've gone hammer okay all right let's grab this we also need to once we've drilled the hole we need to get all of the dust and debris out of the hole so we use um, this little thingy to pull it all out and you can use a vacuum as well just to get rid of all that debris in there just so that there's nothing in there to stop this from expanding properly and really anchoring now drilling into brick can be quite difficult it may take you a few minutes to get in far enough if you can let go of that ladder please try and use two hands and push on the back of the drill to really get it in there and just keep checking the depth by pulling out um, the drill bit and just checking that it's going to be deep enough don't forget to dig all of that debris out of there a vacuum is handy but not so much if you're up on a ladder all right so here is my dynabolt okay i'm gonna grab my hammer and just knock that in Oh, it's really difficult to handle with your left hand when you're not left handed, but see how we go. Alright, let's get that in. I need a bit more. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing, I know. Alright, how's that sitting? Okay, that's good. Alright, now put the wrench out of my other pocket. And alright, so now we have to tighten. Let me just I can start hand tightening. All right, a few hand tightens. And then, oh, I might need a bigger wrench. That actually feels pretty damn perfect. Ugh. All right, hopefully that's nice and strong. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is tighten all of our corners. So this is the turnbuckle that we're going to use to tighten everything. You only have a certain amount of play, so you may need to sort of loosen or tighten um, some of your ropes um, as well. If you haven't sort of left enough slack or you've left too much, you can also stick a wrench or a screwdriver inside your turnbuckle to turn them a little bit easier. Once you've got all of them um, nice and taut, you can stand back and enjoy your masterpiece. Let's have a look. go guys that's how simple it is anyone can do it even if you're on your own if you found this really helpful and you're putting up your own shade style i would love you to take a picture and post it on social media and tag me my handle is at nicole herrick diy on all of the socials including tiktok if you don't follow me there yet then head on over and follow me thanks for watching guys